And joining me now to respond to the president's gun control proposals, the CEO, executive vice president of the National Rifle Association, Wayne LaPierre. Wayne, good to see you. Thanks, Thanks. for being good here. Thanks. Good to be with you, Sean. Appreciate it. As we get started, we have some breaking news, and I want everybody to be aware of this, and I think this is really important breaking news, and it deals with the Journal News. Now, everybody here remembers they're the ones that outed gun owners in two Westchester, uh, New York counties. Well, they have decided that they are removing this list, and in doing so, they actually put the following statement out. It said, today, the Journal News has removed the... Uh, permit data from their website. Our decision uh, to do so is not a concession to critics that no value was served by posting the map in the first place. On the contrary, we've heard from too many grateful community members to consider our decision to post information contained in the public record to have been a mistake. Nor is our decision made because we were intimidated by those who threaten the safety of our staffers. We know our business is a controversial one. We do not cower. But the database has been public for 27 days, and we believe those who wanted to view it have done so already. And as well as the passage of time, the data will now be outdated and inaccurate. I think you agree? A win? Yes. And I think they did cower. you agree? Yeah, it was a shameful act. I mean, it told the criminals whose house to break in if they wanted to steal a gun. Uh, whose house to break into if they were completely unprotected. And there were a lot of people out there, women being stalked, wanted to, did not want their name out there and let, let it be known if they owned a firearm. It was a shameful act by that newspaper. And we had two break-ins. We haven't been able to prove it's associated with the release of, of that map, but I'm suspicious. Right. What do you make the president, through his spokesman, Stephanie Cutter, Robert Gibbs, you're about to be Mitt Romney'd. They're now running a political campaign against you and your organization. What's your reaction to that? You know what they forget? It's not me. It's not even the NRA. It's the vast majority of the American public that deeply believes in the Second Amendment, deeply believes they have a right to protect themselves, that there is nothing more normal than wanting to protect yourself, protect your family, take individual responsibility. And they're, you know, I know the, the media, the president's out to shame them. They're not going to be shamed. This is normal activity on good people, and it's the vast majority of the American public. And I believe other presidents have said, you're going to bow down and give up your freedom. You're going to give up your rights. Uh, we saw how that worked out. The American public is going to stand and fight for their freedom, and NRA is going to stand and fight with them. Let me play for you. Let me play for you. The, we're now taping this program in New York. New York now, as of this week, has the strictest gun control measures in the country. Andrew Cuomo, making his case to the state in the legislature, uh, said the following. I want to play for you, get your reaction. Let's roll tape. Forget the extremists. It's simple. No one hunts with an assault rifle. No one needs 10 bullets to kill a deer. And too many innocent people have died already. And the madness now. Pass safe, reasonable gun control in the state of New York. Make this state safer. Save lives. Set them an example for the rest of the nation. Let them look at New York and say, this is what you can do. And this is what you should do. This is New York, the progressive capital. You show them how we lead. Is New York safer? Are, are lives going to be saved? You know, New York releases more criminals back to the street and has to re-imprison more criminals for new crimes they commit than any other state in the country except California. I was stopped by police officers up here all day on the street saying how ridiculous that bill was, how, it, how it, it limits them. It limits all police officers. And the rest of the country, that's the last thing they want enacted in their city or state. What you're referring to is New York police officers, if they have more than seven bullets in their gun today, right. they are violating the law. What they've been telling me all day on the streets right. of New York. Uh, poor Bo Deedle. I mean, I want to count how many bullets are in your gun right now. But um, <laughs> yeah. l l let, me, let me ask you, seven bullets, though, is an important number. This was not by accident, because wouldn't that then, therefore, make, what, 90, 95 percent of, of semi-automatic handguns illegal in New York? Well, I mean, that, that's what they're doing. This is, this is an attack. It's, a, it, it's an attack on the Second Amendment is what it boils down to, Sean. You know, the sad thing about all of this is how little this has to do at this point with keeping children safe and how much it has to do with a decades-long attack on the Second Amendment freedom of American citizens. 
And when this thing happened, this horrible, tragic event, I mean, we at the NRA are about as mainstream organizations you can get. We're 4 million members, soon going to be 5 million members. We have 11,000 police instructors, 80,000 police families of the NRA, 100,000 safety instructors. And we said, what will make people's kids safer? We said, one thing, let's immediately put a police officer in every school in the country. Second, let's have the NRA get behind and help fund a school shield program where a model program can be put in place and given to communities all over the country where they could adopt it to put armed security in those schools. That will immediately help kids safer. It will either stop or mitigate a situation if it happens. Second thing we said, the mental health system. I get stopped by police all the time and say, Wayne, every police officer knows people that have been emptied from the institutions, they're back on the street, they stop taking their medicine and they're a danger to the community. We haven't even put the records of those adjudicated mentally incompetent by a court of law into the National Instant Check System. Why, when you said this, for example, we use armed guards to protect our elected politicians, our presidents, our mayors, our cabinet officials. We protect money in a bank, Hollywood sure. stars, they hire Bo Deedle, right? Um, we have at courthouses, at stadiums, uh, office buildings, airports, aren't they all, they all have sure. armed guards, right? Sure. Why, was, why were people attacking you for suggesting maybe retired police officers or military be put in school to, to prevent this from happening? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was ridiculous. I mean, they attacked me for opposing what doesn't work, which is one more gun law, and they attacked me for opposing, for supporting what does work, which is school security. I mean, what it really boils down to is the sanctimonious hypocrisy of the el political elites and the media elites in this country. Their kids, most of their kids, when they go to school, they're protected by police in the school and armed security. Don't we in the do that school. at colleges around the country. They have armed security guards forces. We, we do it. We do it. And a third of the schools in the country have armed security right now. When President Clinton proposed it years ago, and yet you know Wayne says let's make people safe, and they call me crazy. They everything under the sun. Well, I could care less because what I'm proposing will make people safe. What they're proposing won't. Mm -hmm. All right, when we come back, there is a video game out there put out there for people to shoot at you, I guess, in response to all that's happening. We're going to come back more with Wayne LaPierre as we continue. We will also get reaction from our audience of law enforcement members, and we will check in with the man that the NRA has tasked with finding a solution to securing our schools and keeping our kids safe, former Congressman Asa Hutchinson. He will unveil his proposal, and then tonight, in an effort to educate those who simply think that no one should own a firearm, well, we hit the gun range with a world champion shooter to clear up some of the widespread misconception about guns. We will go live and we will show you some of the weapons that they're proposing to put fans on. Also, you can log on to our special companion site. It's Hannity Live right now and you can follow our live show. You can weigh in on the gun control debate yourself. Just go to HannityLive.FoxNews.com as this special audience edition of Hannity continues. Welcome back to the special studio audience edition of Hannity. And still ahead tonight, we're going to go to the NRA state-of-the-art shooting range. It is in Virginia. We're going to clear up some of the widespread misconceptions about guns. We're going to show you some of those guns and shoot them for you tonight. Also talk to former law enforcement officials, prosecutors, gun rights activists that are in our audience. But first, I can continue to be joined by the CEO, executive vice president of the NRA, Wayne LaPierre. All right, let's go. This ad that the NRA put out about hypocrisy has gotten a lot of attention in the country. I want to give you a chance to respond. Let's roll tape. Are the president's kids more important than yours? Then why is he skeptical about putting armed security in our schools when his kids are protected by armed guards at their school? Mr. Obama demands the wealthy pay their fair share of taxes, but he's just another elitist hypocrite when it comes to a fair share of security, protection for their kids, and gun-free zones for ours. Powerful ad, and, but yet anything the NRA points out seems to just come under attack. Well, I mean, it, it, it's come to the point in this country where hypocrisy is just right out there in the open. I mean, the fact is, all these media elites attacking me, all these political people, when their kids go to school, by and large, they're protected by police and they're protected by armed security. I mean, what's, what's unfair is there are moms and dads all over this country getting up and sending their kids to school 
on Monday and Tuesday of next week that are praying that their kids come home safe. And we could immediately help protect those kids by putting armed security in school, the same armed security the elites have. It's the, it's the same with self-defense. I mean, these celebrities in Hollywood, the rich, the powerful, the politicians, they're protected. They're by all them. protected. Bodyguards, security, all the magazines they want. I mean, s since when is the idea of protection limited to a politician, a powerful, an elite, a celebrity, a Hollywood person? I mean, right. let me, uh, because this came up, oh, you shouldn't have mentioned the president's children. Now, the president, when he signed in the executive orders, he had the kids put up there on stage, and also the White House, they put up, uh, I guess, on their website, these kids reading letters to the president. Watch this. These are some pretty smart letters from some pretty smart young people. Dear President Obama, I think there should be some changes in the law with guns. It's a free country, but I recommend there needs to be a limit with guns. Please don't let people own machine guns or other powerful guns like that. Can we stop using guns? If I think if they are no guns on the street, no one could get hurt. Stop gun violence. I am very sad about the children who lost their lives in Connecticut. So I thought I would write to you to stop gun violence. I have four brothers and sisters, and I know that I will not be able to bear the thought of losing any of them. I may not be that into politics, but my opinion is it should be very hard for people to buy guns. The only thing they do is harm or kill, and guns should only be used in the most horrible event where others will get hurt if they are not. Is that expo exploitation? Are they, are they using kids for the White House? Sean, I mean, th this administration in, is not serious about cutting violence in this country. And let me tell you why. If they were, the last four years, the president's home city of Chicago, where drug gangs, cartels have taken over that city, there is incredible violence every single night going on in that city. It is 89 of 90 in terms of federal enforcement of the federal gun laws on the books. I'm talking about the federal laws we have on the books that are reasonable, NRA supports them against drug dealers with guns, gangs with guns, felons with guns. If you want to stop murder and violence and kids being killed in Chicago, you get out there tomorrow morning, you pick these people up when the police officers stumble across them, you prosecute them under federal law, you get them off the street, you get them into jail, and they don't get to their next crime scene. You know, I'm watching this. It reminds me in 1980 when Jimmy Carter mentioned that he was asking his then 12-year-old daughter, Amy, about nuclear proliferation. Um, there are certain things that we try to protect our children from. Seems manipulative and exploitive to me. Um, let me ask you this. If you remember back after the Tucson shooting, Governor Palin who adopted, it was actually Bob Beckel who created the concept of targeted districts, something Democrats and Republicans have used, but they made a big deal about, quote, targeted districts. Um, I haven't heard, and I look really hard today, there is a new video online game that allows players to shoot NRA officials. One of them, I think, is you. And uh, then they fire and they shoot NRA officials. Now, if this were any liberal, what would the reaction been, and what is your reaction to this? Sure. I mean, again, it's 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 the state of our country. It, it's hypocrisy right out in the open. I mean, it uh, the media doesn't say anything about that, and yet it's absolutely shameful. It. Uh, I mean, I pointed out that 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 game online kindergarten killer, and yet why did my staff have to find that, and all the rest of the media in the country, all their staffs couldn't find it. I mean. You know, it's gotten to the point with these video games and so much of it, 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 it it's killing to titillate. I mean, it's, it, it, there's something wrong with a culture if it entertains itself so, that so way. So it's not Call of Duty, all of these Mortal Kombat. And, and, and most of the kids, it, 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 you know, raised the right way, it doesn't affect, but there's a lot of studies that show if someone's on the line, someone's on the edge, it pushes them over the edge. And, and that's yeah. something else we've got to look at. All right, Wayne, good to see you. Thank you for Thanks, being with us. We appreciate it.